In today's market update, we're going to be speaking about straddled troughs and distorted cycles, because one or other of those things is happening in the markets at the moment. Before we take a look at the markets, I must ask you to please make sure that you have read and understood these disclaimers. Starting with the S&P 500, this is SPX data. This is the analysis that we have been discussing for some time in these market updates with a 20-week cycle trough, as you can see over here in the middle of April. In recent market updates, we have been discussing the position of the 80-day cycle trough. We have considered this position over here at the beginning of July as a potential position for the 80-day cycle trough in our previous market update, which was recorded over here on the 22nd of July, we considered the possibility that the 80-day cycle trough still lay ahead of us. However, if we take a look at the bar count from the 20-week cycle trough in the middle of April, you can see that as of today, 108 days have elapsed. That is too long for an 80-day cycle. The average length of an 80-day cycle is 68 days. And if you don't understand why that is, I would encourage you to download the 10 core concepts document that I will provide a link to in the description below this video. The important point is that in our previous market update video, we were considering the possibility that an 80-day cycle trough might lie ahead of us or could lie behind us. The important key to understanding which of those two possible analyses was correct was, of course, the way in which price would interact with this 20-day FLD. And something very interesting happened with that 20-day FLD. So let's zoom in and take a look. Here is when we recorded the previous market update video on the 22nd of July. As you can see, the day after that, price dropped down again, having formed a possible trough over here, but it didn't get anywhere near to the 20-day FLD. Bear in mind that after price forms an 80-day cycle trough, which is what we were considering might have been about to occur, we would expect price to cross up above the 20-day FLD, generate a target to the upside and easily reach that target. Later that week, price formed another potential 80-day cycle trough over here on the Thursday. Then price did give us a little bit of a bounce, but here is the critical moment that we were waiting for. As you can see, on Wednesday of last week, price came right up to the 20-day FLD. That was the important moment. How was price going to react to that 20-day FLD? You can see that on the 1st of August, on Thursday of last week, price was repelled downwards by the 20-day FLD. In other words, price found resistance at the level of that FLD. This is not what we would expect following a trough of 80-day magnitude or even following a trough of 40-day magnitude. That price action on Thursday of last week rendered the possibility that we were still expecting an 80-day cycle trough to form invalid, making this analysis that you see on your charts the more likely analysis with the 80-day cycle trough over here. This, however, provides us with a bearish possibility because if this trough over here is a trough of the 80-day cycle, which was one of our considerations, then we had a 20-day cycle that was already a fairly bearish shape. You can see that it ended at a lower level than the level at which it started. When getting a bearish 20-day cycle as the first 20-day cycle in an 80-day cycle, that is a very bearish omen because it warns of the possibility that this 80-day cycle was in fact a straddled cycle trough. So let's speak for a moment about straddled cycle troughs. We know that cycles form M shapes in the market. And if we consider the 20-week cycle that probably started in the middle of April, we would expect price to rise up to its first peak, then come down into the 80-day cycle trough, which, as I've mentioned, according to this analysis, is over here at the beginning of July, and then rise up to its second peak. 
Now, if the first 20-day cycle is a bearish one, that would indicate that the bear has kicked in fairly early. Not entirely unexpected, but it does tell us that price is now on its way down into the next 20-week cycle trough, which according to this analysis is only expected towards the end of September. What makes the 80-day cycle trough a straddled trough is the fact that it seems insignificant But of course, as the market plays out and constantly describes M shapes in the markets, we are often going to encounter straddled troughs because a trough that is expected to be a fairly high magnitude trough will often occur in the middle of that M shape. The danger with a straddled trough is having identified it, we are able to recognize fairly early that we are now in for a bearish move. So according to this analysis, price is now coming down into the first 40-day cycle trough following this trough of 80-day magnitude at the beginning of July. Now the average length of a 40-day cycle is 34 days and if we count the number of days that have elapsed since that potential 80-day cycle trough at the beginning of July, you can see that as of today there have been 34 days. That is exactly the average length of a 40-day cycle discovered by Hearst 50 years ago. And so now at this point we could expect price to bounce out of a 40-day cycle trough. You can see that the nest of lows for the 40-day cycle is in fact placed in the middle of next week as opposed to this week. The reason for that is because according to this analysis the recent wavelengths have been running long. And so, according to this analysis, we would expect price to bounce out of a 40-day cycle trough. But the big warning of the straddled trough is the fact that we are now in bearish mode and we would therefore expect the bear to continue into the 20-week cycle trough towards the end of September. However, there is a very important observation to make here. This matter of price finding resistance at the level of the FLD is not something that we would expect following a 20-day cycle trough or even a 40-day cycle trough. It is usually the final interaction that we experience between price and an FLD as price moves down down into the next trough of 80-day magnitude. And so the interaction with this FLD raises the question, is it possible that price is not coming down into the 40-day cycle trough, but in fact the 80-day cycle trough? I've already mentioned that the fact that there have been 108 days since the trough in the middle of April discount the possibility that this could be an 80-day cycle trough unless something interesting happened in April. And this is where we need to consider the possibility of a distorted cycle. On our Discord server this week, a very interesting analysis was posted by an experienced analyst who suggested the possibility that there was fundamental interaction in April that caused a distortion in the cycles. Let's take a very quick look at that possible analysis. Here it is, and we still have an 18-month cycle trough over here in October of last year. As you can see, I have influenced this analysis by suggesting that the software place the 20-week cycle trough at this very insignificant trough over here in the middle of March. And if you go back and take a look at our market update videos at that time, we were, of course, expecting a 20-week cycle trough to form at that time. The more prominent trough over here in the middle of April April has been phased as a 40-day cycle trough and then we have an 80-day cycle trough over here at the end of May. And so the interesting thing about this analysis is that it provides us with this very distorted cycle shape. We, of course, expect M shapes to form in the markets. Occasionally, there is distortion in the cycles and you get the center trough of the M shape at a lower price than the beginning or the ending trough of that M shape. I call this a distorted cycle. Is it possible that this distorted cycle occurred over here between March and the end of May? 
The interesting thing about this analysis is it suggests that the 40-week cycle trough still lies ahead of us. When would we expect that 40-week cycle trough? The average length of a 40-week cycle is 272 days, which was, in fact, on the 25th of July, only about 10 days ago. And so this analysis suggests the possibility that what Price is doing at the moment is coming down into a much bigger 40-week cycle trough. This would certainly explain the recent interaction with the 20-day cycle FLD. If we zoom in on this analysis and take a look at that FLD, you can see the textbook example of the FLD providing resistance last week, indicating that price is now coming down into a 40-week cycle trough. So let's summarize. This is still our preferred analysis with the straddled 80-day cycle trough. We then have a bearish 40-day cycle that is playing out. We are expecting a 40-day cycle trough to form. When that 40-day cycle trough forms, we would expect price to bounce out of that trough. We would expect an interaction with the FLD where price should cross above this FLD, generate a target to the upside. But the overall theme behind price movement at the moment according to this analysis is bearish and our composite model line provides a good indication of that bearishness in the market. You can see that the composite model line accounts for the fact that we have a straddled 80-day cycle trough over here and provides us with a downward price movement into the 20-week cycle trough expected in September. The bounce out of the 40-day cycle trough according to this composite model line is expected to be a very disappointing one. But of course that is based upon this analysis. Yet again, we are going to be watching the 20-day FLD with great care as price bounces out of the trough that we are expecting to form now. If price rises up, crosses above the 20-day cycle FLD and moves up towards the target generated as a result of that, we will give more serious consideration to the possibility that the 40-week cycle trough is forming now. In the NASDAQ in our previous market update, which was recorded over here, of course, on the 22nd of July, we discussed the same possibility that an 80-day cycle trough had already formed or perhaps lay ahead of us. But again, the 20-day FLD was key. I pointed out in the previous market update video that price had not yet found support at the level of the 80-day FLD, which it would be expected to do if this trough over here in April was of high magnitude. Price clearly failed to find support at the level of the FLD. It spent several days approximately finding support, but then it collapsed over here on Wednesday of that week and dropped below the 80-day FLD. As price struggled out of this trough that formed over here about 10 days ago, there was the possibility that a late 80-day cycle trough was forming, but all hope was lost when price failed to get above the 20-day FLD last week. And so we have exactly the same situation in the NASDAQ. The chances are good that an 80-day cycle trough formed over here and that it was a straddled cycle trough. Price is now coming down into a 40-day cycle trough. The bounce out of this 40-day cycle trough is expected to be a fairly small one. And our focus for the NASDAQ is certainly on the next 20-week cycle trough, which is expected over here a little earlier than the trough is expected in the S&P 500 at the beginning of September. But again, it is possible that our phasing of the trough in the middle of April is incorrect. This very clear resistance that the FLD provided warns of the possibility that this was the final interaction between price and the 20-day FLD before an important trough forms. If that important trough does form now, we will be watching price interacting with the 20-day FLD very carefully for signs that the magnitude of this trough is greater than expected.
We have been looking at the ASX, the Australian stock market, recently, and here is the situation that we have been tracking, with again a potential 20-week cycle trough over here in the middle of April. We had the same dilemma with regard to the position of the 80-day cycle trough, which you can see we have phased at the beginning of July. That provided us with a rather unsatisfactory 80-day cycle over here, and then price started rising back out of that potential 80-day cycle trough. Things were looking good all the way up until Friday of last week. And so what happened then? Well, if we zoom in and focus only on the price action following this potential 80-day cycle trough over here at the beginning of July, and we consider the interaction with the 20-day FLD, you can see the price came up above the 20-day FLD over here because this was not a very deep trough. It generated a very small target which didn't give us very much to work with. At about the time that the 20-day cycle trough formed, we would have expected price to find support at the level of the 20-day FLD. You will notice that, of course, price dropped down below the FLD. It did, however, then recover. But that was the first bearish sign that things were not looking very good for price following this 80-day cycle trough. Price then crossed back up above the 20-day FLD. As a matter of interest, if we were labeling these interactions, this would have been our A category interaction. This was our B category interaction, not a BC category interaction pair because price failed to find support. And so this was the B category interaction where it actually slipped just below the FLD. And this was our C category interaction. Price then fairly smartly achieved its target for that C category interaction. However, the bearish signs were showing. First of all, the fact that price had slipped down below the 20-day FLD and separated the BC interaction pair into a separate B and then C category interaction, which is usually a bearish sign. And on Friday, price came down and worked its way all the way back down to the 20-day FLD. What is the interaction that we expect next? It is, of course, a D category interaction, which provides us with a short trading opportunity as price moves down into this 40-day cycle trough. And so this is the situation in the ASX. We are looking for a 40-day cycle trough to form now. Price has achieved and slightly exceeded its target, which is a bearish sign. We do have a bearish 40-day cycle shape here already, indicating that we are likely in for some further bearish price action. As price moves down into this 20-week cycle trough expected in the middle of September. But now what about the possibility that this is the 40-week cycle trough that is forming now, as I discussed when looking at the S&P 500? We could perform a whole fresh analysis and study it in detail, but I'm not going to do that here. We looked at it in the S&P 500, but there's a much simpler trick that you can perform. The possibility is that this 20-week cycle trough, instead of forming in the middle of April, should in fact be phased over here. You can see that in the ASX, that actually gives us a cleaner analysis for that first M shape that formed for that potential 20-week cycle. What that would mean is that the 20-week cycle trough simply needs to move one 40-day cycle earlier. And what that means is that this 40-day cycle trough that we're coming into now should also have the 20-week cycle trough moved over one 40-day cycle, indicating that it is possible that we are coming into a 40-week cycle trough now. So again, how will we know whether this is happening? The key is in watching our FLD. And we do not need to just focus on the 20-day FLD. At this point, we can start looking at the shorter FLDs and see how price behaves as it interacts with the 5-day, the 10-day FLDs on its way to potentially interact interacting with the 20-day FLD as it bounces out of this price trough. In our previous analysis, when we looked at gold, we were also discussing the possibility that a 20-week cycle trough that we were expecting had formed over here towards the end of June. You will notice that because of recent price action, 
that 20-week cycle trough has now been moved earlier into June. The reason for that is because of this price action over here, where price has clearly formed what is likely to be a 40-day cycle trough. If we measure the number of bars that elapsed from our possible 20-week cycle trough at the end of June, you will see that is only 29 days, and so that would have been a slightly early 40-day cycle trough. Positioning the 20-week cycle trough earlier in June gives us a much longer 40-day cycle at 48 days. It is, in my opinion, more likely that the 20-week cycle trough did actually form over here. But the important thing is the cycle shape that has elapsed since then. And here we can see the very clear M shape, the first up and down move for the 40-day cycle. Now we have seen price rise up again. We are facing the ever-present danger that a cycle analyst has to consider of a symmetrical cycle forming. And is it possible that we are already moving down into this 80-day cycle trough, which you can see is expected in September? It is possible, but we do not have evidence yet. It is also possible that price will keep moving up towards its second peak of the 80-day cycle. However, price action has not been moving very cleanly, and the interactions with our 20-day FLD have been messy at best, and so we don't have any good targets to work with here. Taking a look at the composite model line, you can see that line is still optimistic about price reaching a second and higher 80-day cycle peak and only then moving down into the 80-day cycle trough expected in about the middle of September. But we need to keep a close eye on price in case of the danger of a symmetrical cycle developing here and price turning down early into the 80-day cycle trough. Bitcoin was doing so well and in our previous market update video we discussed the possibility that the 18 month cycle trough had formed and there it is still on our analysis because what Bitcoin has done in the past few days has provided us with a dilemma and the 18 month cycle trough is still phased over here although you can see that of course recent price action has brought price down below that 18 month cycle trough trough over here at the beginning of July and that provides us with a dilemma that we need to resolve. So let's take a look at what has happened and what we might expect to happen. Before we change the time frame, this is a weekly chart, I would like to point out the possibility that we are witnessing a straddled trough. I discussed a straddled trough earlier and so you know what the meaning of this is. It is just possible that this 18-month cycle trough is in fact a genuine 18-month cycle trough and that it is turning into a straddled trough. You know, of course, what that means now because we had an M shape that played out over here. A straddled trough sits at the center of the M shape and we are therefore looking at a bearish price action unfolding. That is the potential bad news. But we shouldn't give up hope just yet. It is too early for us to confirm this as a straddled trough, but it is important, I believe, that we keep that at the back of our minds as a dangerous possibility. The other possibility, of course, is that the 18-month cycle trough did not occur over here at the beginning of July, but the price is only now moving into the 18-month cycle trough. That would provide us with some good news. But let's take a look at the detail of price interaction with the 20-day FLD to understand what has been happening since this potential 18-month cycle trough at the beginning of July. Here you can see the first interaction between price and the FLD, the 20-day FLD, following the potential trough that formed at the beginning of July. Price climbed up and fairly accurately achieved its target for that price cross. That was good news. In our previous market update video recorded over here on the 22nd of July, I mentioned the fact that we were expecting a 20-day cycle trough to form. There is 
raise that 20-day cycle trough. So far, this was all good news. The other thing that we expected at the time that the 20-day cycle trough formed was for price to find support at the level of the 20-day FLD. Price didn't even reach down to the 20-day FLD, and so the bullish picture was still looking good. However, as price bounced out of the 20-day FLD, you will notice that it surpassed its earlier peak, and let me just clear those markings. It surpassed its earlier peak over here, but provided us with a sequence of rather bearish candlesticks, First this candlestick over here and then this one over here forming its second peak in the potential 40 day cycle that was playing out. And this is where applying the FLD tool is so powerful. Our next interaction between price and the 20-day FLD, considering that 25 days had passed since the trough of at least 80-day magnitude, in our opinion, must have been a D-category interaction. A D-category interaction, as I have already mentioned, is where price crosses down below the 20-day FLD on its way down to the 40-day cycle trough. We are still expecting our 40-day cycle trough over here in about the middle of August. This is a short trading opportunity. And as price crossed down below this FLD, we would have exited from our long positions, considering that we were looking at price moving into a 40-day cycle trough. Of course, your positioning will depend very much upon your time frame, and you might not have been trading the 20-day FLD. But for the purposes of these market update videos, we are tracking interactions with the 20-day FLD. Price turned significantly bearish, as you can see, over the past four days, bringing the potential 40-day cycle trough lower than our 18-month cycle trough. This provides us with an anomaly. Again, we are going to be watching the 20-day FLD, and if you do not have the patience for waiting for price to interact with the 20-day FLD, you can, of course, watch your shorter cycle FLDs, your 10-day, your 5-day, or you could move to an intraday chart and watch even shorter cycle FLDs. As price bounces out of the potential 40-day cycle trough that we are expecting, we will observe how it interacts with these FLDs to determine whether this is a 40-day cycle trough forming in an already bearish cycle or whether the 18-month cycle trough has occurred late and we are experiencing the move out of that late 18-month cycle trough. I do hope you found this market update useful and interesting. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below the video or join us on our Hearst Cycles Discord server. I look forward to hearing from you.